Coach, what can you uh, tell us about your lineup uh, tonight? Uh, same as what we saw against San Jose? Yeah, same as uh, Saturday as far as the um, forwards and the fence, just a uh, change in goaltending, that's all. What was the thought process behind getting Mads his first start of the season? Well, when I looked at the uh, analytics and uh, look at the stats of uh, uh, Corpus Allo's, uh against uh, Colorado, um, I feel that you know we have a better chance of winning with with the kid uh, going in nets. I think I don't think he's played against them, but he played last year. I think he played 18 games in the NHL. So I just feel that um, you know it will give us a good opportunity, and then we'll see from uh, after the game for the next game. What have you heard from the coaching staff in the minor leagues, uh, the goaltending coaches, about how Mass is progressing this year? Yeah, I think they're very happy. I think they feel that he's having a, a really good season. Uh, in the American Hockey League, he's played well. Uh, he's been a, a big part of their their program, but they're very happy with his progression. So I think it, it's a good opportunity for him tonight. No Josh Norris on the ice. What's the update with him? Uh, still uh, same situation. Like I think, uh, uh, you know, just uh, recovering from that 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 injury. So I think uh, just probably working in the gym today, but. Uh, when the Avalanche are playing at their best, what's that challenge like for you on the other side? Well, I think uh, the challenge is, like to me, when you play a team like the Avalanche, and I mentioned that to our team this, this, uh, this morning, uh, we played an excellent game in Colorado a couple of weeks ago, uh, five on five. Uh, we actually won that part of the game, 3-1. But where we lost the game was the special team. And I think that's the key again tonight. Like to me, this is a team that, uh, you've got to know when their top line's on the ice, McKinnon and Ratton. They're the ones that you know can really hurt you. If you can control that line and you know come out even or win the, the specialty team part of the game, you give yourself a good chance of winning the game. But you know that they've got like three elite players, like you know Makar, Ratton, and McKinnon. Those are elite players, so you have to have an awareness and you have to keep them in check. Qu'est-ce que vous avez aimé de la victoire de samedi? Quel est le plus gros défi que pose l'Avalanche Colorado? Je pense que ce que j'ai aimé, c'est euh, premièrement la, la façon qu'on a joué. Euh, on a eu euh, beaucoup de lancers. On a eu beaucoup de. C'était la, la partie d'où ce qu'on a eu le plus de, de temps dans la zone offensive, je pense au-dessus de 25 minutes. Donc, c'est une bonne indication qu'on a contrôlé le jeu. On les a dominés au chapitre des lancers. Euh, Puis aussi, ce que j'ai vraiment aimé, c'est qu'après qu'ils ont égalisé le, le, le pointage, on a quand même revenu. On n'est pas resté euh, figé. On a continué à attaquer, puis on est allé chercher le, le but de la victoire avec 12, euh, peut-être même 5 secondes de jeu. Et puis, quel est le plus gros défi que pose l'Avalanche Colorado ce soir? Bien, le plus gros défi, je pense, c'est de, c'est de garder, de jouer à notre identité, euh, un jeu de, de pression mais faire sûr que, qu'on joue bien sans la rondelle lorsque le, le trio de McKinnon est sur la glace. What, what's the challenge with, with a team like Colorado when they're, they're coming in here? Uh, I know they lost last night, but mm-hmm. for the most part, they've been. Yeah, um, yeah it's, of course, a top team in, uh, in the league, and it's going to be a tough task for us, especially, you know, uh, containing their top guys. And, and uh, um, yeah, it's a challenge that we're excited about. It's nice to kind of get back into like a regular game day at, uh, at home here. So um, it'll be nice to play in front of the fans tonight. And, and uh, uh, against a team like this, it'll be a lot of fun. You've had a little bit of uh, time with Solgard uh, last season. What, what's it like with him potentially getting some, some time? Ah, I'm excited for him. He, uh, of course, with all the injuries last year and, and, uh, and all the craziness last year, he you know, stepped up and kept us in it and gave us a chance. So uh, I'm excited for him to kind of get that chance this year. And, and uh um, yeah, he's, he's a great goalie. He's um, no common presence back there, so um, that's gonna be uh, you no know, great to see him back out there this year and this time around. And, and uh, um, we, have, we have all the faith and belief in the goalies. So um, you now to have him step up uh, tonight, it's gonna be uh, you know, we're gonna be playing hard in front of him. Can you give us a sense? What's he like in the locker room? He seems like a really calm guy to us. What's his personality yeah. like here? Well, his head's touching the roof in every room, but uh, no, he's uh, no, he's uh, he's a great guy. He's just uh, so nice. Um, so calm, um, and he's just a really good person. I think that's, uh, you know, of course, uh, the qualities that, uh, of course, the team looks for when, when uh, picking players, and, and of course, he fits that bill of just being a you know, really good person, a really good teammate. So, um, 
and of course with uh, you know, guys come from Belleville to get that opportunity, I know he's excited about it, and uh, you know, he's uh, he's always ready for you know showed last year that he you know he stepped up for us and and got a lot of experience from last year. So I think he's uh, excited to kind of show everybody this year that, uh, all the stuff he's learned from the you know, past lessons. Special teams factor here tonight. Yeah, I think uh, you know last game uh, we played against them. They uh, they beat us in that special team battle. So um, we thought the you know, last time we played is um, you know five on five, even strength. We we're we we're right there with them. We played well. It's just um, special teams. Yeah, like you said, it's gonna be a big factor tonight. And I think it showed you've worked on it uh, a lot recently. So I think uh, our group will be ready, prepared, and, and uh, ready for the challenge. The last time you guys beat them, you scored in overtime. Do you remember that game? I do. Um, yeah, it's, it was a while ago, so hopefully that changes time. Also, Shane's beside you in your locker room. What's it just been like having him back with the group? Yeah, it's awesome. It's um, He's such a good person, such a good guy, and uh, you know, a good friend as well. So just to you know, have him back, uh, kind of the full swings. I know he's counting down the days until so he comes back, and I think uh, you know, so are we. So uh, I'm really excited to have him back. Of course, never sat next to him. So. Had to make sure it uh, keeps the stalls clean, but besides that, uh, no, it's going to be good. When did you find out you were starting? Uh, yesterday morning, uh, I got uh, I got the news, so um, yeah, really really happy to, to get the chance to, to get back in and uh, excited to, uh, you know, hopefully uh, help the team uh, to get uh, two points tonight. How's it been in Melbourne? Obviously, that team's coming off a big winning streak. It's been good. It's been good. It's been a fun place to be. Uh, you know, everybody is, uh, is having a, a great attitude coming to the rink and, and uh, working extremely hard every day to, you know, help each other out and, uh, and get better. So uh, it's, been, uh, it's been awesome. And, uh, you know, we're pushing each other every day down there. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's been really fun to be there. And, uh, you know, it's been fun to, to, to win lots. Uh, I mean, that's obviously what we're playing. So, uh, you know, looking, uh, looking to do more of that. I mean, it's just exciting, right? Like you, you get a chance to go up against some of the, the better teams in, in the National Hockey League. Uh, you know, I think that's uh, it's a good opportunity. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm here to, to do my job, and, uh, and I'm going to do my best to, to do it. It doesn't matter if, uh, uh, you know, it's uh, Colorado Avalanche or whatever you know uh it's it's about saving saving the puck and and uh you know that's what i'm here to do uh, i'm not going to try to change anything i'm just going to play my game and uh and see if uh yeah hopefully i can uh, help the team uh to to win yeah. Uh, you know, he's uh, he, he's as hardworking as any of the players. Uh, you know, he uh, he works his butt off every day. Uh, he's uh, he's so prepared. I mean, uh, I was just saying that. You know, we uh, I'll, I'll come into him the day before and, and ask for for some uh, post work, and you know, he'll he'll. Uh, I'll come back the next morning with all kinds of drills and, and different scenarios and videos and everything. So, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's, he's the first one uh, at the rink in the morning and, and he's the last one to leave. So uh, his work ethic is, uh, is unbelievable. Uh, it's something as a player you look at and, and you admire and you try to try to do some, uh, some same of that. And um, that's been awesome. And, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's so deserving of, of this opportunity. And, uh, you know, uh, I'm going to do my best to, to, to make him look good, too. But, uh, but, but we'll see. But, yeah, he's, uh, he's as hardworking as anyone. And, uh, uh, yeah, so really happy for him. But, you know, like I just said before, I think we all uh, owe a huge thing to, to, to Sackberg, too. I um, mean, you know, I was just saying that, you know, he was the guy that, uh, that uh, put me in for my first NHL game. Uh, and it's uh, something that I was very thankful for and still am. And, and uh, I won't forget that. And, uh, you know, I think uh, as uh, for myself personally, but I think all the goalies in, in the organization uh, feels the same when, uh, when we, can, we can say a big thank you to him and for all the work he's put into. Uh, I think uh, I think I'm uh, a little bit uh, more prepared in terms of, uh, of of setting myself up for the games. In terms of uh, you know last year when, when I arrived here, I, I hadn't played much uh, hockey because of because uh, of injuries. And I mean obviously uh, knock on wood, but haven't haven't had any uh, injuries this year. So um you know feel prepared feel that uh, i'm ready to roll uh, ready to help the team and uh, you know like i said in every way in any way i can i 
I'm, I'm willing to help. And, uh, you know, tonight uh, it's, it's obviously awesome. You, you know, you, you work to, to get to this level and uh, you realize it's just as hard to get here as it is to stay here. So uh, for me to, to get a chance to play again uh, since last year, uh, it's awesome and something that, you know, I'm going to try to make the most of for sure.